Hi, my name is Bahu Shetty, and today we'll go over observability use cases for the Elastic AI Assistant. So what is Elastic AI Assistant? Well, it's an integration with OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, or your favorite GAI tool to provide additional context in several use cases. Say you're managing an application in APM and you want to understand the errors and how to fix it. Or when you don't understand that message in logs, or when you need to better understand the alert that you've just gotten. And say you're trying to understand what those processes are in a host, or even understanding how to optimize a function that is being profiled. So let's take a look at how Elastic AI Assistant helps troubleshoot errors found in APM. Here we have an application that's being monitored by Elastic APM. And from the service map, we can see that several services are having issues, in particular, the product catalog service. And we can see that it's detected anomalies against it from machine learning, and we can get a summary of some of the key metrics around it. But let's dive into some of the details. And here we can see that there are several transactions that are having an impact. We can see where latencies have spiked, and we also see a set of errors that APM has caught against the service, and it has a dependency on Postgres but we really don't know what these errors mean. And as we dive deeper into the error, we get uh, a little bit further information around the number of occurrences. We see what the error exception message is, and we also get an indication of what the culprit might be, but we still need more context. And as we ask the AI assistant for that information, we immediately see that it's occurring because the database table called products doesn't exist in the database. Now, this could have occurred due to two different issues. One, either we never loaded it correctly, or there's something wrong with the database. Where else can Elastic AI help us? Well, in any operations, we always get a set of alerts. So let's take a look at a recent alert we've got on our production application. And here we see that it not only provides the fact that the threshold is exceeded, but if we look through the details of that alert, we can also see in Elastic that there was a log spike. And we're also getting log spike analysis. And what Elastic is doing is using machine learning, taking a look at the patterns and actually analyzing the spike and looking at the baselines to see what could potentially have been causing this from all the log data that it's been gathering. And it sees that it's potentially being caused by something called PG Bench. But we need to know how do we potentially remediate this issue? Well, by asking the AI assistant, we can get a set of potential remediation actions and suggestions on how to potentially fix this. And we know that PG Bench is generally used in a development environment. So one of the component, one of the issues could be that developer left it in on production. But some of the recommendations that came back say optimize some of the queries to reduce the database workload, or consider scaling the cluster a little bit higher horizontal perspective. Elastic is known for its ability to ingest billions of logs. And logs are one of the main signals that are used to troubleshoot issues. Let's say we want to investigate the logs from PostgreSQL to see if there's something else to understand. As we head to streams and Elastic observability, we can first filter by PostgreSQL, and we see all the logs around PostgreSQL. In particular, we see a disconnection log. We don't know what that means, so let's go into the details. And we can ask the AI assistant two main questions. One, what is this message and what does it relate to? And we get a pretty good description of it. In addition, we can also ask the AI assistant, what type of query can we use in Elastic to actually find more information? And it gives us a query that we can use in Discover to actually find more log information. Most of the time, we'll be running our production application on a cloud provider like AWS, GCP, or Azure. We might even have Kubernetes. But in troubleshooting the application and understanding what's happening with the underlying compute nodes, we need to gain some additional information about those hosts. Now, in this instance, we're running on Google, and we can see several hosts that we're using on GKE. Let's take a look at one in particular and take a look at the processes that it's running. We see one in particular that's using a significant amount of CPU. And as we look at it, we really don't know what it means. But let's ask the Elastic AI Assistant 
for a little more detail about that process. And as we can see that this is in relation to running a headless Chromium browser, which is generally triggered by Playwright. And Playwright is an open source tool for developing synthetic monitor tests. In this case, we seem to be running these tests locally on the Kubernetes node. Potentially one of the containers is utilizing it and it's heavily using that CPU. We've also added Elastic AI Assistant to profiling. In particular, you can see more contextual information for an application's function you are profiling. So let's take a look at the profiling data from an application that allocates a small buffer for data and then needs to make it bigger every time it reads in more data. In particular, we're interested in, in this realloc function, which we've been using. Now we can ask Elastic AI Assistant for a little bit more information on how we can optimize this function. Let's give it a second to get that information. As we see some of the recommendations coming in, we can see that it's giving us a few interesting recommendations. One in particular, reduce the number of calls to it. Two, use a different allocator. Or even look at optimizing your memory usage with different data structures. I hope that quick walkthrough of Elastic AI System for Observability showed how Elastic is helping improve your operations as an SRE or a DevOps person. Today we showed you how Elastic AI Assistant can provide more context around APM errors, detail around log messages and how to search for them in Elastic, how to remediate alerts, how to understand host processes better and optimize your functions. If you want additional information on our Elastic AI Assistant, go, at, go to the link below and look through the documentation on how to turn it on and utilize it.